Hi, I'm Susie, the Mexican Jewish cook, and today I'm going to make flanken, shredded beef from the beef rib cut, in a salsa of chile de árbol. These are the chile de árbol chilies, and I bought these at Smart and Final, but I'm sure you can get them at most markets or Hispanic markets. We have about an eighth of a piece of onion, a teaspoon of salt, about 12 to 16 chilies on a griddle, and they're toasting, three pretty good sized tomatoes, and two garlic cloves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast these until they're nice and soft, well toasted. And I'm going to toast these as well. I'm going to flip them over because they do burn quickly. So I have to keep an eye on them. Blanken, three strips make about four cups. So what you want to do is you want to boil it for about an hour and a half till it's very tender, cool it for a little bit, and then you shred it, removing all the fat. Also, after you've shredded it, put it in a strainer and put it under very hot water to take out the rest of the fat. I've roasted my tomatoes on the griddle. This is what they look like. Now I'm going to put them on the cutting board, let them cool a little bit, and I am going to quarter them and then I'm going to put them in the blender. My little chili pods are toasted. I'm going to put them in the boiling water. Here are my garlic cloves and I toasted them with the peel on. I'm going to let them cool a little bit and then I'm going to put everything in the blender. I've toasted and boiled my chili peppers. My tomatoes are nice and toasted as well. They're soft. I'm going to put everything into the blender now. So I'm going to put half a cup of water, but I'm going to do it in two parts. I'm going to pulse it a bit, and then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. So this is what our salsa looks like. I have to say, I tried it a little bit, and it's delicious, but very spicy. So I used about 12 to 14 chili pods. You can use six or four, depending on your tolerance. And now I put one tablespoon of olive oil in my pot, and I'm going to put my salsa in there and cook it a little bit. That's the sound you always want when you put your salsa in the pot. It's got to be very, very hot oil. So I'm just going to let this Take in the flavor of the olive oil for about two minutes, and then I'm going to put my flanken in it. Our sauce is boiling now, and we're ready to put our flanken in, which is what I'm going to do. There we go. So remember, that's about four cups of meat. And I'm just going to let it simmer for about eight minutes. I'm going to let it simmer lightly and then we're going to be ready to have tacos. Flanken tacos in salsa de chile de árbol. Our meat is ready. I'm going to take some out and I actually have a tortilla on the fire. I'm warming it up the way I like to warm up my tortillas which is directly on the flame. So I'm going to put a little bit of meat in my plate. So here's the deal. I'm warming up the tortilla for my taco and I actually like to get it a little bit toasty, especially around the edges. So I don't know. My fingertips are used to doing this. I've gotten my tortilla nice and toasty the way I like it. See? And I'm going to put it on this plate. I'm going to make my taco. Okay, some meat, some avocado, a little bit of onion, some cilantro. All of these items are optional. If you want onion, so there's cilantro, avocado, onion, and my beef. I'm going to put together my taco like this, and here goes. 
but last time I burnt myself, so I want to wait a little bit. Okay, here goes the bite. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh my. You must. <laughs> you must try these tacos. And if you don't want them in a tortilla, if you don't want the meat in a tortilla, you can put it on a bed of rice or on the side with some potatoes or with a salad. It's fabulous. You're really going to impress everybody. Go to my website for any other recipes, mexicanjewish.wordpress.com, and I'll see you next time.